always Did you see a lot of the coverage of the, the new Georgia law that they passed? They, they've been calling yeah. it things like the guns and church law. Which is nonsense. Law. That's another, that's a great example because there are a lot there are like of states that already states accept states where you can already take your this gun to state church. right I mean, here. Just who would, why would you go walk in, you know, I mean, well, maybe, idea, maybe you just happen to have your gun with you and you happen to go to church. Exactly just like a cop might, but, but yeah. I mean, well, that's exactly what it is. If you're, if you're concealed care of it, the whole idea is that um, you want to be prepared for any situation. You don't get any safety just because you go into a church. Yeah. In fact, churches are one of the uh, prime targets of, of uh, mass shooters. They're crazy. What yeah. happens? And sometimes, and there have been situations where churches have church shootings have been stopped by uh, people, uh, armed citizens or security guards. And that's uh, so the idea here. And people always ask in these situations right, when it comes to concealed carry because I, I carry. Um, and they think, why would you need a gun in a restaurant? Or why would you need a gun in a church or, or a state house? Or yeah. Something? Because that's often where restrictions are in states. Uh, most, that's that's another thing that's trending um, towards more acceptance of concealed carry. <clears throat> um, and, but the idea here is that you, you carry a gun everywhere. That's the whole point. Of it. Right. You, you want The whole idea is that you, you can't know when something's going to happen to you. Yeah. So you want to have, you, if you're, if you're in a situation, if you're going, you don't ever want to be in a situation where you're going into somewhere where you think you're going to need a gun. Right. It's, uh, you wouldn't want to go to that situation. If you're, if you're, if you're someone who really believes in concealed carry, you want to avoid any situation where you might be potentially dangerous. But the, but the, uh, the point is that you're always potentially injured. It's sort of like, um, I always, analogy I always use is, uh, it's like having a fire extinguisher. You, you don't have a fire extinguisher because you're expecting to have a fire. Right. You have a fire extinguisher because you might have a fire, and you know that it could happen, and so you want to be prepared for it. And so that's, uh, it's the same sort of idea of, like, I have a, in my car, I have, um, I have a blanket and a float blanket because what if I get trapped in a winter storm? You know? Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen, but it might. And it's far better to be prepared than that. So if I'm going, to, if I'm going to a restaurant, I've, oh, I've never been in a situation where I've needed a gun at this point in my life. But I know that those situations absolutely occur. And so, we had a very famous one in Texas that yeah. uh, resulted in some pretty mm -hmm. passionate uh, testimony yeah. well, where um, they left the gun in the car and then the crazy shooter guy came in and started, they, yeah. They were parents. Yeah. That's um, right. That. And she, cause, because the laws at the time in Texas forbade concealed carry old age, she had a license to carry, she had her gun, but she was not legally allowed to bring it into the restaurant. 